Ishak, this consultation on the Metro is not going to be easy if we don't have the full engineering facts. And as I understand, we won't get the revised solution, the revised options on the south side of the city until the end of March. We're flying blind slightly without that, I would argue. The engineers will rightly say that the Greater Dublin Transport Strategy set out their preferred approach. But I don't think anyone understood at that time that we would be going with the driverless segregated system that would affect in the way that it might the south side. Or that indeed it would change the whole route because we wouldn't be building the Dart interconnector, which was another critical piece of infrastructure that this government has effectively abandoned. But it seems to me there are three options. One would be to connect with the Green Line in whatever way. We'll have to wait to the detail in March to see what the preferred solution on that is. And the engineers may well rightly say that that's their preferred solution still and always was. We have to hear what they have to say. Secondly, there is the possibility, and good engineers also say to me, that when you have a tunnel machine running, it's so much cheaper and easier to go south to keep going. And the route southwest to turn your Rathfarnham and Tala would be a huge benefit to that section of the city that is very poorly served by public transport. Or thirdly, and I've raised this with you as an option here in the Dáil, you could keep the tunnel machine running southeast, connect to UCD and Sandyford. And in that way, you provide a capability of providing for all that increase in traffic in the long run from Sandyford and Sherrywood and the south side. You wouldn't have to upgrade the Green Line. That seems to me are that the three options that are available to us. Can I say, can I ask you that you would agree four things, three things anyway. Firstly, we don't, whatever solution we pick, we do not abandon the south side of the city. I was worried there you said metro to city centre and seem to think, it seems the press reports, if they're accurate, that's where the government think it is now, we abandon the south side. I don't think we can afford to abandon the south side. We need, or indeed the west side or the north of the city, our entire transport system needs change, radical change. Secondly, whatever happens on the south side, it should not cause any delay on the north side. We should proceed with the railway order to make sure the north side section is built. Deputy Rock is shaking his head. I don't know what his view is, but we will hear that, no doubt. But we should not delay the north side. And secondly, or thirdly, whatever we do, whatever route we pick, that doesn't undermine the case for bus connects. We fundamentally stand with bus connects because the projections we're seeing from the NTA is that even with all these projects, our transport emissions will increase in Dublin by 30% when we need them to decrease by 30% by 2030. So the scale of the change we need to make is huge. But specifically on this project, you say consultation. How do we consult when we don't have the final plans? Do you agree we should not abandon the south side we should not delay the north side, and we need both bus connects and metro to start making this city work. Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach. I, I, I recall when the uh, deputy was in government, um, the grand plan at that time was Transport 21. We were going to have Metro North, Lewis Cross City, Dart Underground, and the electrification of the Minute and Kildare lines, and they're all going to happen all at the same time. Um, and a fortune was spent and not a single one of those projects was delivered. Uh, and the deputy will acknowledge, therefore, that his party has a really poor record on transport in Dublin, having promised four major projects, spent a fortune on delivering none of them. Uh, the approach that we've taken in government has been a much more incremental one. Uh, the Phoenix Park Tunnel done, Lewis connected uh, and extended, uh, and of course the next big steps uh, are the electrification of the train lines out to Maynooth, uh, to Drogheda, which is not in Dublin, um, uh, and then, uh, and then out, 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 out to Kildare as well, which is also not in Dublin, um, and, um, uh, uh, and, and bus connects uh, and metro as well. But none of these projects, you know, can be done quickly, and you have to make sure you sequence them right uh, and you get them right. Uh, and there is a public consultation now underway, both on bus connects uh, and also on uh, on Met MetroLink. And I don't really think we in this House have the competency to design Metrolink here. Uh, and I know, that, I know that the Deputy has made his submissions, and I know that the NTA will take those into account, and I've sought a briefing myself from them in the next couple of weeks as to what their plans are. Um, but having done the Phoenix Park Tunnel, having extended Lewis, having connected Lewis lines at long last, uh, I'm determined to see this through and to get these projects done.
kind of agree to do is stop scoring petty political points on serious matters of national public policy. I fought tooth and nail for that four years in government to protect the Metro, literally fighting the Department of Public Expenditure and else, and we kept it and preserved it only for the incoming Minister for Transport to abandon it in 2011 when it had EIB funding, when it had the Planning Commission Railway Order. That was one of the worst mistakes made by any politician in my time, but I'm not going to go back to that history of scoring political points because, because it doesn't, Ebony, Ryan has it doesn't get us anywhere. What I want to know is I want an answer to the three questions. And we do have a role, Tisha. We do are absolutely perfectly placed to represent our constituents, to give our views and our views on the various alternatives. But I agree with what Deputy Hallenhurst said earlier on. We need a place to debate that and one which isn't just scoring petty political points, which actually looks at the options and actually considers what is the best engineering solution. We have to decide this on good engineering analysis in the end, and financial analysis, Thank you, and planning analysis. Where could we have that? That's not true, Fergus. No, Deputy, the no, time is up, please. Can we not, can so we not get into personal commentary, please, Tisha? Would you answer the first three questions I asked, Tisha, and stop trying please. to play politics with them? Thanks. Um, Thanks, Deputy. I, I, I suggest we agree, we agree a truce for the rest of this session. Let's neither of us score uh, any party political or petty points on any issue, whether it's housing uh, or climate change um, uh, or transport. I'd be happy to agree that. And um, we'll see from uh, the next question you ask as to whether you're uh, willing to rise um, to, to that cha challenge. Uh, in terms of debate and discussion, um, I, I'm, I'm entirely agnostic on this, uh, Count Corla. I'm sure we can have a debate in the House on Dublin Transport. I think that would be welcome. Uh, I'm not sure it would be particularly productive. None of us are transport engineers, to the best of my knowledge. None of us are experts in this field. Perhaps the best place uh, for this to be fleshed out and debated uh, is on the Transport Committee, chaired by Fergus O'Dowd, that allows us to bring in the experts, bring in the different agencies, and allow those TDs who have a particular interest or knowledge of transport to engage, uh, perhaps in a more meaningful way.